Hey everyone, it's David here. Welcome back to another Wizard 101 video. I uh, hope everyone has had a great day. Uh, so today, in today's video, we're going to be talking about matchmaking. Um, so uh, we're in the comments right now. We're just gonna have the comments as the background. Um, I was gonna watch a PvP match for the background instead. And uh, so because it's so early in the morning, there was only two matches going on. One match was between two level 40s, both were about, what, six, 700 rank. But the other match uh, that really kind of got my attention was uh, a level 140 fire with about six, 700 rank versus a level 140 ice with about 8,000 rank. Um, and that's something that kind of rubbed me the wrong way, I'm going to be honest, uh, because obviously uh, the ice is a booster. Um, don't get me wrong. Ice is the best school at pretty much <laughs> every level band, right? I'm not, I'm not saying anything about the school here, because um, when I, when I call out a lot of fire boosters, they're like, oh, you just think fire sucks, and of course I'm right. You know, it's it's not about the school; it's about the rank, right? When it comes to rank, um, and it's very easy to do this, right? It's very easy to do this, right? You compare, compare your rank. Uh, to the rank of a top tier duelist, a generational duelist, right? Like, just compare your rank to a generational duelist. And if your rank is significantly higher, <clears throat> um, then you're a booster. It's, it's really, it's quite that simple, right? How much rank does Zeus Devo, the best max duelist in game, have? And how much rank do you have? And if your rank is twice as much, or even just a thousand or two thousand more than his rank then you're straight up just a booster it's really that simple um that's it, it's very simple when i did uh and when you look at boosters for mid levels just look at you know who are the best duelists in game when it comes to mid levels at one point that's me i still think it's me but i won't even use me as an example but to be honest if we're not talking about me i don't even know who it is but whoever it is, you know, who, you know, just compare your rank to a generational top tier duelist, and if your rank is a thousand more than theirs, then you're a booster. You know, a lot of people say, they say this in jest as a way to trash talk. They say that, oh, David think everyone who has a higher rank than him is a booster. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, that's the most effective way to find out. Uh, that's the most effective way to de determine who's a booster, right? Um, I made this example before, right? Let's say you're in an Olympian, uh, this bird is kind of loud. Let's say you're, um, an Olympian weightlifter, right? Let's say for the last two Olympics, you've won the gold medal. You hold the world record. Well, not even a world record. Just, just say like you're the, for the last two Olympics, you're the gold Olympian in weightlifting at a certain weight class, right? And then another weightlifter, you know, lifts 50 pounds more than you, right? Or yeah, 100 pounds more than you. Then yeah, they took steroids. It's just straight up, just straight up, right? If they live like 10, 20 pounds more than you, that's still very unbelievable. But at least that's there's plausible deniability there, right? If it's just slightly more. But if it's like a significant amount more then yeah, you're just, you straight up took steroids, and it doesn't take a genius to, to know that, right? Same thing applies to this game, right? Um, I know a lot of casuals think this game is easy, but it's really not. PvP is really not easy. It, it takes many, many years uh, of training, uh, of doing matches. Uh, it's really not easy. The, the most effective way to determine a booster is to just compare their rank to a generational top tier duelist, right? Zeus Devo is the best max duelist in this game. And I'm not saying that because he's a friend. Uh, we're not friends, we don't talk. I don't watch his stuff. I'm, I'm sure he doesn't watch my stuff, right? It's just something that, it, it, it's a given, right? Just like I was the best mid-level duelist in game, right? I'm still probably at least top five, but we won't even talk about that because I don't really PvP that much anymore. But just like back in the days, how I determined boosters was, okay, I'm the best mid-level PvP duelist in the game. If you're also a mid-level duelist, 
and your rank is significantly higher than mine. You're just a booster, straight up. I, well, assuming I was doing a lot of matches, which at the time I was, right? Just straight up. That's how you determine boosters. Um, but even even so, this shouldn't even be a thing. Like, I shouldn't be, no one should be trying to come up with the ways to determine what rank is possible, who's boosting, who's not boosting, all, all that. None of this should be an issue. Like, no one should be even doing this because this shouldn't even be allowed, right? I, I like what you did with the matchmaking as far as six people getting a match at the same time. That's something that, um... I don't think any, I don't know, I, I didn't hear anybody talking about it. I think Kingsall just came up with that because, you know, that's, it never crossed my mind. But after they did it, it still didn't really cross my mind that much about the significance of it. But now after a while, the more I think about it, the more I see the genius in it. Um, so I, I really like that. I, I assume level ban is pretty much hard lock right now. I, they just want to, don't want to come out and say it. But from the evidence that we're seeing, it's pretty hard lock. I mean, it's not 100% hard lock, but it's pretty hard locked. If it's not hard lock, Kingsley, you need to go ahead and hard lock it. All right, there's two options, right? Make PvP max only or hard lock the level caps, right? You know, hard locking is actually a lot less of a dramatic change than just making PvP max only. I would honestly suggest making PvP max only, but that's that's just me, right? I have I don't have a lot of I don't have a lot to lose in the game as far as you know. I'm not part of the ownership, I'm not part of the team, so, you know, I'm a lot bolder, like, um, you know, when you're not playing, like, when you're a hedge fund, you, you have extremely high risk tolerance because you're not playing with your own money, uh, so that's, that's why I'm real, that's why I'm advocating really bold ideas, uh, because I don't have a lot to lose, but I definitely understand from King's House perspective, they're hesitant about really bold ideas because, uh, they do have a lot to lose. Even though I think it's the right thing to do, I do understand that we're coming from two different places. Um, but with that in mind, if you're not going to make PvP max only, just hard lock the level cap. Just hard lock it. I'm finally going to get to this, okay? I know you guys, you all have been like, dude, just get to it. What, what are you going to say? So what's going to take away the plausible deniability and help uh, us uh, also help patch boosting is make it so that you cannot face people who are more than you cannot face opponents whose rank uh, has a more than 500 difference from you. That's kind of poorly worded. So you cannot face anyone who has either more than 500 rank than you or less than 500 rank than you. So the rank differential between duelists is not more than 500. And if you feel like 500 is too much, I really don't think 500, 500 is a lot, but if you feel like 500 is too much, you can make it a thousand. I feel like 500 to a thousand is really the sweet spot um, as far as what you should aim for. It should be 500 to a thousand, so we can use both scenarios here. So if you're doing 500, let's say um, you're 1000 rank, you cannot face someone who is who has a rank of less than 500. And you cannot face someone with a rank of more than 1500. Let's say we're doing a thousand, right? Uh, like a thousand is a lot, but I guess for the purpose sake, uh, I mean, these boosters are boosting to such a significant degree that honestly, a thousand is enough. It, uh, as far as it's not too much, but a thousand is pushing it. I really suggest 500. But let's say, let's make the case of a thousand, right? So if you have 2000 rank, you cannot face someone with less than 1,000 rank, and if you, uh, and also you also cannot face someone with more than 3,000 rank, right? So there should be a limit, as in, okay, you cannot face someone who has more than, let's say, 500 rank, uh, a 500 rank difference than your rank. And what that does is, uh, first of all, it takes away the plausible deniability, right? Like, there's plausible deniability right now of people saying, okay, yeah, my rank is uh, unimaginably high, but hey, look, sometimes I face people who are 700 rank. I'm 8,000 rank, and sometimes I can face people that are 700 rank, so that's why. So that's why it's possible, right? Um, so if you make it so that you can't face people who have more than a certain rank differential than you, uh, then that takes away that plausible deniability. And the second thing it does is it actually helps patch boosting because in order for you to rank up really high, 
you also you need to wait for the meta to catch up because what happens when boosting happens is you boost to a really high rank and the meta can't catch up right the meta is actually a lot slower than people think right it takes a long time for people to rank up uh you know i remember back when it, it was this was years ago when there was a lot of mid-level boosters um and <laughs> and they would just boost a 3k in a month and they would be like yeah i mean what what what's good and they don't understand that uh it, it doesn't take that fast um but the, the point of that is the pro uh you know when boosters boost they they speed away from the meta right they speed away from the duelists who are dueling each other and taking a long time to rank up so it when you when you make it so that there can't be that much of a gap between matchmaking when it comes to rank so uh let's say you can only face people within 500 rank of you and honestly if you want to go less than 500 rank that's more welcome like the less rank differential the better obviously um but what that does is that if you do decide to boost um now i guess something i just thought of is if just a bunch of boosters do it then the boosters could just keep facing each other because boosters boost in groups so that is a problem that is a problem i mean i this definitely won't just be uh, a cure-all patch to boosting and i understand boosting is a hard problem to fix but king's you really don't even have that many problems right if you just fix boosting yeah the schools are kind of unbalanced but i mean you know if you look at league of legends there's some classes that are better than others generally speaking right that's that's perfectly fine that's not like a huge deal like if you just fix boosting and then you reset for fifth age I think you're gonna probably double your revenue, right? If you actually legitimately patch boosting, right? To a degree where people can't boost on the leaderboards, uh, to the leaderboards. I think you're at least gonna double your revenue, just straight up. <laughs> like, I understand this is a really difficult problem to tackle, but literally once you just tackle this one problem, it'll probably double your, your revenue. <clears throat> um, so I guess that idea of you know, not being able to face people within 500 rank differential. You know, I, I guess that's not really, it's not going to patch boosting. But I guess what it will do is it will help with the first, uh, the first thing that I mentioned as far as it takes away the plausible deniability, right? Because then if you can't face people within the 500 rank differential of you, now who are you facing? Like how, like let's say someone boosts 8,000 rank, like who, who are you facing? Like, if you can only face people that are at least 7,500 rank, then who are you facing other than other boosters, right? And then the community is going to catch on. Okay, these people keep facing each other. They're in the same Discord group. What's going on, right? <laughs> uh, but hopefully that won't even happen. Hopefully Kinzel will actually patch boosting, and that won't even be a problem. That, that won't be even a, a needed solution. But what does piss me off a little bit is, uh, and, and this is something that... It keeps happening, and I don't know if someone people are trying to poke at me. But if a, if another WizTuber says something that's different, that's like completely the opposite of what I say, don't tell me about it because that does piss me off. That does piss me off when someone who's just so happens to you know be popular, be good at you know making thumbnails and editing and all that good stuff, or kind of funny. So they're popular on YouTube, and then they think they know more PvP. That does piss me off. So if another WizTuber says something the completely opposite of what I say, uh, just don't don't tell me they said it. Just say that you think this way. That way we can have a discussion one on one. But don't tell me this so and so said this, because uh, that actually does piss me off a little bit. Uh, <laughs> uh, unless you want to piss me off, then that's perfectly fine. You know, it, it does bother me when people think they know more than me about this game. It, it does. It shouldn't bother me because this is just a game but it does bother me because <laughs> I don't know it's just I have so much experiences in this game and when people discredit that um, it does irk me a little bit especially when the reason that people want to discredit me is because it's not even my fault it's the game's fault right if we just had a clean leaderboards I wouldn't even need the flex. I wouldn't even need to brag, right? I people say, "Oh, David, you used to always you always brag about, oh, you were the number one duelist, blah blah." Well, yeah, I had to. 
I had to, right? Because, you know, I wish I could just act all humble and just be like, oh, look at my numbers. I'm not going to say I'm the best, but hey, look, look at the leaderboards, you know, but I can't. I, can't, I couldn't do that. I couldn't do that. It's not my fault. It's the game's fault, right? This game, so many things about this game irks me, right? Like I was, I was farming aberrant paradox, whatever that final boss is in caramel. That boss is so annoying. Uh, the drop rate is so annoying. Like I farmed it all day, not one tier one, not one tier one gear. Like I, I got a, I got one tier two gear that was way worse than my level one hundred gear that I couldn't even use. Right? Like so many things about this game irks me. But yeah, I mean, that's basically it for this video. I've rambled long enough. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, see ya.